Hello everyone. Well, for some of you that have seen the um, original plan to use magnetic reed switches to power this uh, unit on and as well as adjust the speed, uh, we reconsidered um, in eliminating the magnetic switch for the power on because the, the thickness of this uh, saucer is, such a, is so thick that the magnet uh, sometimes does not fully adhere and it would come apart or unstick from the magnetic reed switch. So we've decided to go the conventional way. Um, we've got a little miniature micro slide switch. Basically, what you have to do is uh, put a little, we did a little slot on the bottom. Well, obviously, you guys can do a much better job than I did. Uh, but anyway, you put a little slot on the bottom and it will, everything will come pre-wired for you. Um, the only thing you have to do is just basically put it in that slot and we'll hot glue it in place. We'll be back to show that. And okay, we're back. And you can see we've uh, hot glued the uh, slide switch in place right there. Let's see if we can zoom in on it. Hmm, I guess we can't do that now. There we go. You can see we've tacked it on the sides. That's all you need to do. And we also uh, did a tacking of um, the plus and minus wire here. So it uh, stays away from the illumination. And basically we just uh, slide it, switch on. There it is. That's pretty much it. Still get the um, magnetic switch effect. We just slowed it down. Did it again. You can see it's slower. And we're back to fast. And I think this will be a, a good uh, hybrid mix between um, the on-off switch, which is your conventional slide. There we go. And the magnetic reed switch uh, for the activation. I just uh, wanted to point out a little bit about this board. Um, you can see, and oh, this or should I say this lighting kit, that is pretty much self-contained. We have a 9-volt battery here with a clip. It's all it's going to come all pre-wired for you, all these um, wires to the magnetic switch, to the 9-volt battery clip, and to the on-off switch. It's all going to be wired to the board. The only thing you have to do is uh, supply uh, some sort of standoff uh, from the base here to up top here. It's about an inch and a half in height, and then hot glue the board in place right in the center. Uh, that works quite nice and stays... Uh, nice and locked into place. So I just wanted to tell you that um, <clears throat> it will not come with this standoff. This is just something we had hanging around just to show you the height to put it in. It's, like I said, it's an inch and a half. And um, what we can do is uh, we can now turn it on. And what we have here is the plasma type effect. This is gonna be, there's going to be two options to choose from. Same price, but we're going to have the plasma effect and the regular chasing LED effect. So this will start with uh, the plasma effect. You can put the cover on, and uh, right now it's at uh, the faster of the speeds. We just slowed it down. Look at that, slowed it down some more. And I'm going to turn the lights off. So you can see it in, in a dark ambient room what it looks like. And 
we're going to swipe it and brought it back to its uh, faster mode. Slowed it down a little bit more. And you get the idea, it's pretty much it. We'll be back with the uh, chaser mode. Okay, we're back. Um, now we're showing you the uh, chaser sequential LED version. It just chases around versus the plasma effect. And we can again we can change speeds. Here, cut faster. Cut faster. And it's back to its uh, slowest speed setting. And let's look at this in the dark as well. There we go. Sped it up some more. Boy, boy at this speed on the, on the camera, it looks like a strobe strobe effect that actually freezes in time. Let's try another speed. Okay, this is fast enough so you don't see it uh, in the strobe effect. Well guys, that's pretty much it.